this year, Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Troy here with us today from up north of Montreal, Canada. Uh, he's flown all the way down here to Houston to receive treatment for his hiatal hernia issues that he's had going on for over six months now, right? Absolutely. So um, he hasn't really noticed any benefit from the medical care that he's had up to this point in time. Is that correct? None whatsoever, to be honest with you. And uh, you found this on YouTube, right? So uh, we're going to show you how we analyze people for this and then treat him for it. This is his very first visit, so let's take a look at you in the mirror here first, Troy. I'm going to have you close your eyes and flex your head forward and then backwards for me. And then back to neutral. Okay. You a side sleeper? Uh, Most of the time? Back inside. Back inside, the same thing. Right now I'm analyzing his posture on a three-dimensional axis, and he's got just a little bit of forward head posture, not too bad though, and a little bit of translation of his neck over to the left and tilting to the left, and then rotation uh, a little bit to the right. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to have you my own is back on this table first for me there, Troy, and I'm going to do a few tests on you here first just to rule out any other issues, orthopedic and neurological. Tell me if uh, ca this causes any back pain or shooting leg pains. Yeah. Back um, pain? Lower back. Lower back, yeah. okay. And better down here? Yes. Okay, does this cause any back pain or leg pain? No. Okay, let's cross this over here. And let this flop down. Tell me if this causes any hip pain or back pain. Yeah. And in the hip mark or back? Uh, hip. Okay. Oh. Yep. Yeah. More than just a stretch? Yes. Okay. So lift this left one up here. Is there any back pain on this side? Or uh, shooting leg pain? A little bit in the same area, but not as much. Okay. And better down here? Yes. Is that causing back pain or leg pain? No. Okay. And let's cross this one over. Does yeah. that cause hip pain already? Mm -hmm. Right in there, deep in your hip? Yes. Okay. So he's got a positive fabric patrick on both sides. Okay, let's lift your head up for me. Tell me if this causes any pain anywhere along the course of your spine or your chest. Seems too bad. Okay, good. Let's sit you up and face that wall right there. Or face toward your knee, actually. Okay. This way, that way. Okay, so. Uh, Tell me if you feel any pain anywhere in your spine when I do this. That's not too bad. Okay, good. Now I'm going to go backwards and to the right and down. How about this side? I'm thinking the lower neck or the back? Just right when I first there. started doing it. Yeah. Okay. How about when we go backwards and left? That's when you first started doing it. Same spot? Yeah. Okay. How about when you just tilt your head to the right? Does that cause any pain? Yeah. Right, same sure. spot? Yeah. Does this make that worse? Or same or better? About the same, not too bad. Okay, a little stretch right there. there. How about when you go left? You have a hard time going left. Yeah. Does this hurt worse on this side oh. when I do this one? Uh, Does that pull through here more? Yes. Okay, how about when you just turn left? Okay, turn right. Yeah, you locked up both sides. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tell me when it starts hurting. Okay. Right there, yes. stretching to the same spot. Yes. Okay, and then does that make it worse? Uh, or about the same? About the same. Okay, how about when you're going backwards? Tell me when. Right there. Uh, yep. Does that make it worse when I go backwards with it? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay. All right, now I'm just going to have you hold your arm up here. I'm going to push down and resist. Okay. Okay. Same thing over here. Resist. Is that shoulder bothering yes. you? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to test your biceps here on this left side. I'm going to pull out, resist. Good. And I'm going to reposition you and test your triceps. I'm going to push in. She so gets some kind of this left shoulder and shoulder blade you're talking about. Yep. Okay, I'm going to pull out, resist. Okay. And now I'm going to push in, resist. Okay, good. Yeah. Check your reflexes here.
just keep that just a little bit where you go through until the end. Go in there. That's why I don't understand how there's no people. There we go. Good job. Relax. Yep. Good. Okay. Now, if you can just walk on your tiptoes about three steps that way just to make sure you can do that. Yeah. Good. Okay. Turn, turn around. Walk back towards me on your heels only. There you go. Okay. Good. That's good. Now, if you can just like bend over like you're going to touch the floor and tell me if and when you have any back pain or neck pain anywhere. Sure. Or rib pain. Yeah. Um, up the In the lower back area, in the lower thoracic right yeah. here. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and let's have you come back up. And does it hurt coming back up at all? Um, no, it's okay. Okay. How about when you lock your knees straight and lean backwards? Does that hurt anywhere? Yep. Right on that left yes. side more? Yep. Okay, if I twist you left and push down on that left side, does that make it worse? Um, not really. Okay. If I twist you backwards and to the right and down, does that make yes. it any worse? Yeah. It does. Okay. okay, on the left side? or Okay, let's go ahead and have you line your stomach right here for me. Put your face right down this little piece of paper. So those of you who have watched us on YouTube for a long time, we got a lot of subscribers out there from all over the world, uh, know that we do see people from all over the world specifically for herniated disc and hiatal hernia conditions. We're not treating the hiatal hernia disease process itself. What we're treating is why people have it in the first place, which is structural and mechanical in origin. The rib cage and the diaphragm get misaligned and tweaked with the thoracic spine vertebrae. Yeah, that's a little tender right there, huh? Yep. Yep. Okay, so, and checking his leg length here, his right leg is short by half an inch. Now, when I bring his legs up, it actually stays short and then it gets even. Is that tight enough in your lower back right there as well? Yes, it does. Yep. So, he does have a positive knockless test in Deerfield on the right. So he's got sacroiliac subluxations bilaterally. Those are tender on both sides, huh? If you were to lock your whole right leg straight and lift your whole leg off the table while I push down here, does that cause any pain down your lower back? Um, doesn't seem like it. No? Okay, no. do the same thing on the left. This was harder over here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, so he's, he has a left sacral deviation test. Is most of the pain he has start right there and then right. go up into here? Like yeah, right there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's L5. Yeah. He's got a left sacral deviation right there. And that's also affecting his left SI joint. And then L5 is out right there. There's L4. These are all tender, huh? Yes. The muscles are pretty tight on both sides, but seem yeah. to be worse on the left. Mm -hmm. But and then they get worse on the right right there. Yeah. And that's all compensatory in nature, so... Your pelvic is a little elevated over here on this right side, so your spine's tweaking and turning, okay. twisting. That's all compensatory. You can see my hands here, the curve is taking place, especially right in this thoracic lumbar region. Right there is real tender. Yeah. 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 This is right where the diaphragm attaches, by the way, to the lower rib cage, which is all cartilaginous. And those of you who suffer with acid reflux, hiatal hernia, GERD issues, uh, notice that you probably have had some, besides the acid going up in your esophagus, other types of symptoms that are associated with that is like pain underneath your sternum or chest pain, uh, bloating, sense of fullness in your stomach and your uh, esophagus, and hard time swallowing, difficulty breathing, all those things. Atlas is out right there too. Yeah. Okay, and there's C2 and 3 too. Okay, those are all tender, weren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah, C5, 6, and 7 right there too. Boy, you got a lot of stuff in your neck. Yeah. Okay, you ready to start feeling better? I am. Okay, <laughs> so all you gotta do is breathe. I'm gonna adjust his right SI joint first. Now 
we're going to get on L5. Do a straight posterior to anterior repeat A drop in the Z axis. That's L4 right here. There. Then we move up to L3. Move that was tender one. Then. There's L2 and L1. And now just let all your out and relax. Okay. Keep breathing normally. There you go. And just exhaling. Oh, you're tight to here. Now okay, I'm going to let your head down just a little bit to open these joints up a little bit. And just keep breathing. Okay, good. Let all your out. We're getting a little tiny movement right now. As far as cavitation or the popping noises. But we're still getting movement in the spine, the rib cage, so. There we go. Okay. Now, just going to put some pretty deep, steady pressure down here for a couple of seconds. There'll be some sore spots along the way here at first. See, you've got some upper thoracic misalignment right here, too. That also affects your lungs and your breathing. I'll just let this relax right in my hand. That's all right. Just let this one go. There we go. Better. Okay. Legs are exactly even now. Tell me how this one feels versus the first time. And it stays even. That's a lot better. Did that feel smoother that time? Yes. Okay. So his first visit, I'm not going to pull the turbonator out on him yet. I'm going to use some deep vibration rub to increase the circulation into his soft tissues. Get his blood flowing better. This also relaxes the paraspinal and paraverbal muscles as well as the uh, muscles down here in the pelvis and into the legs. Probably find some sore spots along the way here. Those are just built up toxins in the muscles over time. Well, he's fine with hiatal hernia. Uh, patient symptoms that they improve when we work on the corresponding somatic muscles. Okay, let's go on your back. Okay. There's a somato visceral reflex and then a somato or visceral somatic reflex that takes place through the autonomic nervous system. There we go. And just let your head relax right in my hand here. There we go. Okay, same over here. There we go. Good job. Now we usually find quite a uh, disparity in this rib cage here and we're seeing about a half an inch in his rib cage on the right side being lowered. See that Renee? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to adjust his ribs here as well. So let's go ahead and have you slide all the way down on the table for me there. Um, Troy, let your leg a little bit more you're kind of tall. There we go. Just go ahead and lay you back there now. And if you just put your arms out to the side like this. We're going to adjust his shoulders and his ribs now. Adjust the AC joints right there. And now the sternoclavicular joint right where the sternum and the clavicle articulate. And now the costosternal joints, which is where the ribs attach to the sternum in the front. See, his left rib cage here had gone down from what his right one is, so that's what's affecting the diaphragm and making that weak in here. 
So we're going to be adjusting these ribs up a little bit more here. And you got to be careful doing this because the bottom part of the rib cage is cartilaginous in nature. So you don't want to apply a whole bunch of pressure. Let's go ahead and slide you all the way back up to the top now, Tori. There you go. Right there, sir. Now, I want you to just take a real deep breath in. Let all of your out. I'm going below his xiphoid process, down underneath of his rib cage, under his sternum, and I'm going to grab the top of the stomach or the fundus right there, and I'm going to pull it straight down. Okay. There you go. Now, another deep breath in. Okay, that's all right. I know the first one's always the worst one. Yeah, just keep exhaling for me. Just keep exhaling. There you go. Also, uh, along with uh, having the pressure in the substernal region, Troy's had a lot of difficulty breathing as a result of his sliding hiatal hernia, which is also very common aspect of having sliding hiatal hernia. Some people have a lot of acid, others don't. Other people get bloating, other people get chest pain, difficulty breathing. Um, Troy hasn't had a lot of the acid, but he's had a lot more of the difficulty breathing and uh, chest pain and substernal pain. Is that correct, Troy? Yes. Okay. So you notice I'm working on his uh, colon here now. Now right here is the ileocecal valve. That's probably a little tender right there too. On the left. Yeah. That's the valve between the small intestine and the large intestine. And then over on this side, on the right side, is the valve between the rectum and the lower colon. Large intestine and the rectum right there. Kind of rub those clockwise, open those up. Okay, I'm gonna pull down one more time, Troy. Take a deep breath in again and let it all the way out. Now I'm getting down in there very deep, as the Troy will be able to tell you here. Okay, let's hit you up and face towards your knee there. There we go. That's a lot deeper than it looks on, on oh. YouTube videos, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. There we go. So we're going to check his shoulders now, which he's been having some problems with his shoulders and shoulder blade region as well. This is the right shoulder, little humeral joint, good. Now let's just check the range here, take it slow. That hurt right there? Uh, yeah. I'm starting to cause pain during the motion? Yeah, pretty much the whole way. The whole way? Yeah. Okay. Oh. That hurt, friend? Yeah. There you go. So I'm pulling his bicipital tendon in on this left shoulder at the same time I'm rotating it. Right there. Now we're going to put that lenohumeral joint back in on the left. Okay. Elbows moving good. Wrist moving good. Would you mind uh, sharing with our YouTube subscribers um, what how this what what you've been dealing with and what brought you here and has this been worth your trip so far? This is only your first visit. It but is yes. why you came here and absolutely uh, coming all the way from Canada, Ontario, and uh, it was actually the videos on the hiatal hernia that brought me out here. Very impressed with what I uh, have seen. And uh, I've been having trouble breathing for at least six months now. Uh, unfortunate with the doctors, they pretty much tell you just you know get a pill and it'll take care of it. It hasn't at all. Uh, even now, I'm actually uh, able to breathe a little bit more. Easier, which is yeah, yeah uh, very nice to see. Yeah. Um, 
They are fantastic. You have to forgive me. I've, uh, most, uh, of the, been, yeah. most of the effects of these things, uh, you'll feel immediately. So you'll know whether this is helping you or not right away. This is not a guessing game. This is something you'll know quickly. Uh, now, it's not going to be healed all in one visit. He's got, Troy's going to be with us all week. We're going to be adjusting him twice a day, Monday through Thursday. And we'll do another video on him Thursday afternoon whenever he gets before he leaves and we'll see how he's doing then. But let's go over here and shoot you now, Troy. Right. So let's go over here in front of the mirror. Now we're going to adjust his atlas on the x-axis. Oops, I'm sorry. So I'm going to check his posture again. Let's have you flex your head forward and backwards again for me. And remember how this feels. It's already better in your mind. Yeah, it's not neutral. Nope. Okay, so much better already. Now just pull these shoulders up and then back for me and hold them there. Wear these kind of back like that. That'll tighten up your entire trap. And then we want to bring your head all the way back, like straight back in the z-axis, and then look up in the x-axis here. Just pull these shoulders way back simultaneously. There you go. This will open up your rib cage. I got you. I won't let you go. I haven't lost a patient on the floor yet. I'm not sure. <laughs> now, right here, I'm not doing any adjusting with this. I'm just working on the muscle spindles. There you go. You can relax now. <laughs> now, when you flex your head forward and backwards this time, Troy, tell me if it feels any smoother or not. Than the previous one. Yeah. Yes. Much better range of motion too. You're back to neutral. Take a look in the mirror, my friend. See how you're even here now? From yeah. side to side. Your shoulders are level. You're right down the middle there. That should have felt a little smoother for you too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I can literally see the difference in the mirror right now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This, like I said, this is not a guessing game. You can not only feel the difference, but you can actually literally see it in the mirror when you see your posture change. Okay. Troy, thank you very much Great. for sharing thank that you. first visit with us. Excellent. This is your Houston chiropractor and Troy from Houston, Texas at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. We'll see you next time.